You're troubleshooting a high-efficiency furnace, and you've discovered the problem to be the ECM motor. How do we troubleshoot if it's the motor or if it's the board? Hi, I'm David Darling, Technical Service Advisor for Johnstone Supply, the Balsam Group, and today we're going to be going over how to check your ECM motor. What we have here today is a ECM rescue motor from US Motors. The first thing you need to do when checking this is make sure that the shaft is rotating, one way and the other way. The next step will be to unscrew the control board or module from the motor itself. With the screws out, you just pull it apart. Push in the plug on the Molex connection and separate. Now you have the motor separated from the control module and the next step is to ensure that the Molex connection, the capacitors, and any thermistors that are on this board are looking good, which they are. The next step is to check that the magnets within the motor are not cracked and that the windings are not burned out. And your final step is to actually ohm out the windings. And because this is an ECM motor, it is actually a three phase motor, so the windings should be somewhat equal. And then final, check it to the equipment ground, which we do not have here. If you find any windings out of range or you find the motor grounded, then it's the motor, not the control board. Make sure you replace the motor at that point. With these quick and easy steps to troubleshooting an ECM motor, you can reduce callbacks and avoid unnecessary expensive replacements. Johnstone Supply the Balsam Group is your partner in HVACR. If you have any more tools or techniques you'd like us to cover, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.